Hi, it's Peter again. I wanted to uh, make a new video now to show you the new way that I'm handling, um, or Eva's handling, incoming text messages. And for those of you who have been using Eva up till now, you'll have to change the setting manually. Um, but anybody who's downloading the version of Eva from the time I'm making this video, this will automatically switch to this particular setting. So let's see if we bring up the menu here. Choose the Your settings. settings are displayed. Tap on any setting to toggle through the available options. You'll see here towards the bottom we have the text message settings here and for reading messages I have it set to notify and prompt and that's new. We used to have notify now we've got notify and prompt and if I cycle through them here you'll see we have whisper and whisper and prompt that's also new and both Whisper and Notify work differently than they worked before. Um, they basically work in the background so they won't automatically bring Eva to the front when the text message comes in. If you use Whisper and Prompt um, when Eva receives a new text message she's going to actually say there's a new text message and she'll read it and then she'll prompt you and say would you like to reply and if you say yes then she'll come to the front and you can reply and at the same time as saying yes if, if you wanted to say yes reply and my message is whatever you could just say yes reply this is my message and that would basically be a quicker way of getting your message out and she'll again come into the front there and if you have confirmed text messages or confirmed send messages on she's still going to ask you to confirm to send that message if you have it in uh, in notify mode and prompt she's going to say I have a new message would you like to hear it and then you can say yes and she'll play what the message is and then she'll say would you like to reply and again you can say yes or you can say reply here is my reply so I'm going to give you a demo in a little bit and just show you how that works and then the other thing I'm going to show you a little bit later too is um, how the wake mode works with that and some of the new functions I've put in there but let's just start out and um, We'll try uh, sending a new text message here. Yes, Peter. Text Peter, how are things going today? How are things going today? Please confirm that you want to send this message to Peter Muller by saying confirm. Confirm. Your message has been sent to Peter Muller. Okay, now I'm going to go out to the main screen. We'll just wait for that message to come in and you'll see how it works now. So you could be on any application, not just the main screen. New text received from Peter Muller. Would you like to hear the message? Mm -hmm. Yes. How are things going today? Would you like to reply to this message? Yes, please. New message to Peter Muller. What is the first sentence of the message you would like to send? Things are going quite well, thank you. Things are going quite well, thank you. Say the next sentence or say select, again, cancel, edit or done. Finished. Your message has been sent to Peter Muller. Okay, so as you can see, basically she didn't come to the front until I chose to uh, reply to the message. And I'll just go back to the main menu there and we'll wait for that reply to come back in. New text received from Peter Muller. Would you like to hear the message? Yes. Things are going quite well, thank you. Would you like to reply to this message? No. Okay. Alright, so at that point she just hasn't interrupted anything we're doing there. So you could be in the middle of creating an email or doing something else on your phone and a new message comes in. Obviously your regular text message thing is going to pop up the message on the top there, but Eva allows you the option of uh, of uh, listening to that message 
and then uh, obviously the option of replying. The other thing that you can do too is that when that message comes in and she, and she says, you know, I have a new message for you, would you like to hear it? You can hold your phone up to your ear and if she doesn't get you the first time, she'll ask you again, would you like to hear it again? And then you can say yes and she'll play it back over the, the little earpiece there and so you can hear it quietly. So if you're in a meeting or something like that and it comes in, um, you can just hold your phone to your ear and say yes and she'll read the message to you and then likewise you just keep your phone at your ear and she'll ask you if you want to reply and um, you can say yes and then she'll come back into the front but you just keep your phone to your ear and you can go and dictate your reply and uh, send it and do everything just holding the phone to the ear and no one else is going to be able to hear what you're doing and they'll just think that you're you're taking a phone call or something so anyway that's a neat way of uh, handling the text messaging now and like I said, the difference between the whisper and the notify is that the whisper will actually read the message without prompting that but, and just prompt you for the reply. And the notify will actually prompt you about a message and you'll actually have to ask or actually have to say that you want to hear the message before uh, she reads it. So I hope you like those new features. Okay, the next new feature I wanted to show you is um, some modifications I've done to the wake mode settings and you probably already know that with wake mode you can just say enable wake or enable wake mode and that'll turn that on and then Eva's listening in the background for the keyword which you assign in the settings again I'll just bring up the settings and show you your there. settings are displayed tap on any setting to toggle through the available options you see I've placed wake mode settings in their own little group there now so you see the wake up phrase set to hey Eva so if you want to change that you just tap on that and she'll ask you what the new phrase is you want to keep it something simple that is going to be recognized really well every time and then uh, you've got extra wake functions there as an option so one of the things that you can do now is you can specify that um, you turn these extra wake functions on and you'll be able to say something other than wake, um, sorry, other than hey Eva. So you might want to say open something and Eva will be able to open any of your applications or any of your bookmarks that you've assigned and also enable and disable. She handles those commands and then outside of that um, you can also say call. So you might want to call a particular person. You have to use those specific keywords. So it's open, enable, disable and call are all ones that work while it's in wake, in wake mode and like I said you can turn it on and off there if you want and I don't think I explained the let go there before but um, if Eva's sitting in wake mode and you want to use maybe your Gmail or something like that to dictate an email and Eva's listening so she's locking up the microphone you can just say let go and she'll basically stop listening for the amount of time that you've got set there in the resume after and then that basically gives you the opportunity to dictate um, using something else and then uh, she'll be back listening after the time is up there and you can set that time between one and ten minutes so let's see if we um, turn on uh, turn on the wake mode here okay so she's listening there and I'll give it a chance to cycle every time that um, thing flashes on and off she's basically listening so I'll just be quiet here for a second and then I'm going to ask her to open Facebook. Open Facebook. Starting Facebook. Okay, so you can see that she's done that and also she's still listening in the background. So now I can do different things and one of the other functions I've got in there which I mentioned before was the ability to read the clipboard of the phone and it, there is nothing I can read on the clipboard. Uh, see, she heard me <laughs> say that. <laughs> you just have to say the word clip and uh, she's going to read that out. Um, I didn't actually say that, but anyway, I'll try it again. Clipboard. Clipboard. There is nothing I can read on the clipboard. Okay, so there's nothing there right now but the different applications that you have you know you can hold your finger down it actually doesn't work in Facebook but on this Facebook app but some of the apps that are out there like your Adobe Reader you can hold your finger down on text and it brings up these little uh, cursors allows you to select a chunk of text and I think there's some aftermarket applications out there as well that allow you to select the whole text um, easier 
and so if you can do that once you've selected text with the application just say clipboard and Eva will read it for you so right now she's still listening if I wanted to go to a different application right now without having to go back to Eva and say say the wake phrase that I have set up I can just say the open command right now so let me just be quiet for a second then I'll try switching over to YouTube open YouTube open YouTube starting YouTube okay so you can see she's basically switched over to YouTube for me and I didn't have to touch the phone I didn't have to go and say the wake up phrase to get her to go there so literally you could go from one application to another all day long here um, just using that um, voice command and like I said the other commands that are available are the enable disable so um, if you wanted to turn something on or off or one of the modes on or off like I could I could disable wake mode right now if I wanted to um, but again you have to use those keywords and likewise if I wanted to call somebody I could call somebody right now just by using that and the voice uh, recognition goes on and off every few seconds so generally if you've been talking like I am now you just wait for a little bit and uh, let it go quiet and then wait for it to start again and, and try your command if it doesn't work the first time just try it again okay and so the last thing that you might want to do then is you might want to go back to Eva to do something so you can just say hey Eva and we'll come back so let's do that hey Eva yes Peter what time is it it is 5.58 p.m. Thank you. You're welcome, Peter. Okay, and you see she goes back into wake mode just sitting there. Keep in mind that wake mode, because it's constantly listening, will use a little bit more battery than what you're thinking. Um, so you might want to use it sparingly unless you're, you, know, you don't really care about running your battery down. You've got a charger hooked up or something like that so uh, the other thing that this works too is that when the screen goes off it, it, when it times off um, Eva's still listening so your screen can time off you don't even have to hit your home key provided that you've got the lock um, disabled I think you can um, say these different wake up commands when the screen's off so that's kind of neat as well anyway I hope you like these new features and uh, there's still a lot more to come but uh, this was a real struggle these last couple of days to get this one done and uh, you know Eva fought me a lot of the way and but I won I think <laughs> anyway until next time